1984. Written by George Orwell. The Scene The dystopian world of Oceania is a futuristic society controlled by a totalitarian political party called Ingsa. The party, led by Big Brother, uses telescreens for mass surveillance and a new language called New Speak to control thought and suppress rebellion. The party employs a concept called doublethink, which involves holding contradictory beliefs and accepting them as true. Those who do not conform to these beliefs risk being arrested by the thought police for committing a thought crime. The party also constantly rewrites history to maintain control over the present and future. Oceania is divided into three social classes, the inner party, the outer party, and the proles. The inner party is the smallest and most powerful class, while the majority of the population belongs to the proles. The society is constantly at war with one of the other two global superpowers, Eurasia and East Asia, which may or may not be real. 1. The Impact and Reception of 1984 in the first part of this review, I'd like to address the impact and reception of George Orwell's 1984 as one of the most influential books of all time. It has been translated into over 65 languages and has sold over 30 million copies worldwide. It has also been widely used and misused in political discourse by ideologues of all kinds, introducing terms like Big Brother, Thought Crime, Doublethink, New Speak, Thought Police, and Orwellian into the public lexicon. Despite its widespread popularity, 1984 has also been banned in many countries, particularly in authoritarian regimes. It was banned under Stalin and as recently as 2022 in Belarus. This is likely due to the book's depiction of a dystopian future society called Oceania, which is fully controlled by a totalitarian political party called Ingsa. Led by the mysterious figure of Big Brother, the party is solely focused on increasing its power and uses technology and manipulation of language and thought to maintain control over the population. 2. The Dystopian Society of Oceania and its Totalitarian Government, Ingsa As mentioned in the first part, Oceania is a society fully controlled by the totalitarian political party called Ingsa. To maintain power and suppress individual expression, the party employs several tactics, including the use of telescreens for mass surveillance and the creation of a new language called Newspeak. Newspeak aims to remove words from the English language that could potentially lead to rebellion, further limiting the ability of citizens to express dissenting thoughts or ideas. In addition to Newspeak, the party also uses the concept of doublethink to control the thoughts of citizens. Doublethink involves holding contradictory beliefs and accepting them as true, effectively forcing individuals to accept the party's propaganda and lies as reality. Those who fail to do so are arrested and charged with thought crime by the thought police. 3. Key Characters Winston is the main character of the novel, a low-ranking member of the party who works at the Ministry of Truth. Winston is a deeply individualistic person who rebels against the party's control and ideology. He falls in love with Julia, a dark-haired girl who also rebels against the party. Their passionate love affair is forbidden in the party's society, where sex is only allowed for procreation. O'Brien is a member of the inner party who initially appears to be a member of the Brotherhood, a mysterious group that works to overthrow the party. However, O'Brien eventually reveals himself to be a loyal party member who is tasked with breaking Winston's mind through torture. Big Brother and Emmanuel Goldstein are symbolic characters in the novel. Big Brother is the leader of the party, while Goldstein is the leader of the Brotherhood. It is unclear whether they are real people or simply symbols used by the party to control the population. These characters represent different aspects of the party's society and serve to illustrate the dangers of totalitarian control. Winston and Julia represent the individualism and rebellion that the party seeks to suppress, while O'Brien represents the party's use of torture to control people's thoughts. Big Brother and Emmanuel Goldstein symbolize the party's control over information and the manipulation of the population's beliefs. 4. The concept of new speak and the manipulation of language and thought One of the key themes in the novel is the corrupting nature of power and the lengths that those in power will go to maintain and increase it. The party's main goal in 1984 is to hold on to power at all costs, and they use a variety of tactics to do so, including propaganda, brainwashing through torture, and the manipulation of history. The party's desire for power is also reflected in the hierarchy of Oceania's society which is divided into three levels, the inner party, the outer party, and the proles. 
The inner party, comprising only a small percentage of the population, holds the most power and privileges, while the outer party, a slightly larger group, holds less power and fewer privileges. The majority of the population, the proles, are the working class and hold no power at all. The theme of power in 1984 serves as a warning about the dangers of allowing a small group of individuals to hold too much power and the potential consequences of such a concentration of power. 5. The role of in controlling every aspect of citizens' lives. In the world of 1984, technology is used as a tool of oppression by the party to maintain control over the population. The party uses telescreens for mass surveillance and creates a new language called Newspeak to remove words from the English language that could potentially lead to rebellion. However, technology is also a means of resistance in the novel. The party's control is not complete, and there are those who use technology to fight against the party's rule. For example, the character Winston uses an old-fashioned pen and paper to secretly write his thoughts, which he knows are considered thought crimes by the party. The dual nature of technology in 1984 serves as a reminder of the ways in which technology can be used for both good and evil. 6. The concept of doublethink and its use in suppressing individual expression and free thought. Doublethink is a key concept in the novel, referring to the ability to hold two contradictory beliefs at the same time and to consider them both true. The party uses doublethink to control the thoughts of the population by forcing them to accept contradictory beliefs and accepting them as true. This is achieved through propaganda and the manipulation of history. For example, the party's slogan War is Peace, Freedom is Slavery, Ignorance is Strength is a clear example of doublethink. In order for the party to maintain its power, it is necessary for the population to believe that war is necessary for peace, that freedom is actually a form of slavery, and that ignorance is a strength rather than a weakness. Doublethink is a powerful tool of control and serves as a warning about the dangers of accepting conflicting ideas as true without questioning them. 7. The theme of torture and its manipulation in the society. Torture is a key tool used by the party to maintain control over the population in the novel. The party's Ministry of Love is responsible for brainwashing people through torture, and individuals who commit thought crimes are arrested and subjected to torture in order to break their minds and force them to conform to the party's ideology. One of the most famous scenes in the novel involves the character Winston being tortured in Room 101, where he is confronted with his greatest fear, in his case, rats. The party uses torture as a way to break the will of the individual and force them to accept the party's ideology. The use of torture in 1984 serves as a warning about the dangers of using violence and fear to control others. 8. Interpretation of the book as a satire and its relevance in today's world Big Brother is a key figure in the novel, representing the party and its leader. The party uses Big Brother as a symbol of its power and as a way to maintain control over the population. Big Brother is constantly present watching through telescreens and encouraging people to inform on one another in order to root out thought crimes. Despite the central role of Big Brother in the novel, it is unclear whether Big Brother is actually a real person or simply a symbol used by the party. This adds to the sense of uncertainty and confusion in the novel, as the population is never sure what is real and what is not. Big Brother serves as a warning about the dangers of blindly trusting in authority figures and the importance of questioning those in power. 9. The Psychological Effects of Limiting Language and Expression Newspeak is a new language developed by the party in the novel in order to control thought and suppress dissent. The party's goal is to make it impossible to express certain ideas and to eliminate certain words that could lead to rebellion. Newspeak is constantly evolving, with new words being added and old words being removed in order to further control the population. The use of Newspeak is a key aspect of the party's control in 1984. By controlling language, the party is able to control thought, making it harder for people to think critically and to challenge the party's ideology. The concept of Newspeak serves as a warning about the dangers of limiting language and expression and the importance of protecting free speech. 10. Conclusion and Debate 1984 has been widely debated and analyzed since its publication, with some readers seeing it as a cautionary tale about the dangers of totalitarianism, while others view it as a commentary on the dangers of government control and censorship. Many people have drawn comparisons between the society depicted in the novel and our own world, citing instances of government surveillance, censorship, and propaganda as evidence that we are moving closer to the dystopian future depicted in the story. 
However, others argue that these comparisons are overly simplistic and that the novel's themes of totalitarianism and censorship are universal and timeless. They argue that the novel serves as a warning about the dangers of blindly accepting authority and the importance of questioning the status quo. Regardless of one's interpretation of the novel, it remains a powerful and thought-provoking work that continues to inspire debate and discussion.